Actually, I'm going to go ahead and start. So, what's your uh, take on some box uh, coming out this week? Yeah. What do you see from that? Yeah, really good team. Um, you know, I think defensively, I mean, they got a really stout front, um, really good linebackers that, that fly around, um, and then a really good a really good back end as well for their DBs. So um, we got a great challenge for us this week, and um, we're just really excited about it, excited for the opportunity. And we know how, how well coached they are, too, with, with Pete and those guys over there. So um, yeah, just really excited for the challenge and um, looking forward to it. What was your reaction to Baker Mayfield being released? Yeah, you know, obviously, um, first and foremost, just, you know, the guy and just who he is, um, you know, throughout training camp, having a competition with him and all that, you know, he was he was nothing but the best um, to me and all, all the guys in the locker room and the coaching staff. I mean, um, total class act, you know, not only in training camp, but throughout the season as well with everything that happened, um, you know, him getting hurt and me and PJ playing a little bit, um, you know, nothing but a class act. and. Um, again, such a great teammate to have in the locker room. Um, obviously, it's you know it's a tough business, and um, you know I, I wish and I, I talked to him a little bit um, the day um, that he got waived, but um, yeah, wish him nothing, nothing but the best, and I'm, I'm sure I'll be talking to him in the future. Glad to see him catch on the Rams. Yeah, yeah, you know I think uh, you know anytime you can. Uh, find work in this league again. Like I kind of said um, last week, anytime you get an opportunity to play in this league, um, it's a great opportunity. And you know, I I know he feels the same way that I do in that regard. And that you know, you don't take any any snap for granted that you get in this league. A lot of times, though, players don't get another chance and another chance. And to see Gina doing what he's doing right now, um, what is the message there? Yeah, you know, I think with Gino doing his thing. Um, Obviously, you know, him getting the opportunity that he got and um, obviously him and Drew having a competition kind of like we did in camp um, and taking advantage of it and uh, taking advantage of those reps in the preseason and then in the regular season when he did get an opportunity to start. Um, obviously, he's been making the most of it and he's been playing really well. That, that whole Seattle team's been playing really good football. And like I said before, you know, we got a great, um, you know, great opportunity to go over to, to Seattle and um, you know, because we, we know what kind of energy those fans bring and what kind of energy is going to be out there. So we're excited for the challenge, like I said, and especially with the way uh, Gino and those guys are rolling right now. Does that give you a different perspective, though, on, on your career and what it could be um, versus what people were saying before? You know, I think I think it just says one thing. I think, you know, you, you, you go in every single year and, you know, you have a role on a team, whether it's the starter or the backup. I think... At the end of the day, it's just preparing, you know, whenever your time comes to play and making the most of it, you know, and, and truly taking it one snap at a time. And I'm sure, you know, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I'm sure he'd, he'd say the same thing. You know, he was just taking it one play at a time and because um, that's really all you can do because if you, if you look ahead or um, any of that, you know, you, you, can get, you can get ahead of yourself and um, that's something you don't want to do in this league. Sam, with that said, I mean, how important are these next five games for you for, for your career, uh, not only just this season, but for your career to you know kind of establish yourself you know as a starter? Yeah, you know I think like I said, you know it's any any opportunity you get is is important, and for me I'm I'm really taking it one game, one snap at a time, really, and I think it's it's not even you know on my mind, you know it's obviously about the Seahawks and all that, but um, you know we're gonna meet on today's practice and. Then after that, we're going to watch third down and have a great have a great Thursday practice tomorrow. And you know that's kind of where my mind's at. It's not uh, you know I'm not worried about the next five games or what this game could look like. Um, I'm really just preparing for for Seattle's defense and um, you know making the most of, of every single day out here. How are you feeling coming off of the bye? I have to tell you, everybody says bearded bearded Sam Darnold <laughs> is different. Is, yeah. is bearded sure. Sam Darnold different? No, you know, same guy. Um, you know, may look a little bit different, but uh, no, same guy, and you know, obviously going to keep it. You know, as long as we keep winning games. But um, no, it was fun to go out there and play. Uh, you know, play Denver, play good, obviously, and um, as a team. Um, you know, I thought our offense played well. Obviously, defense, special teams played really well as well. So um, yeah, you know, we just got to keep it going, keep the momentum going. I think 
you know, what's been huge for us is putting together good practices. And, you know, as long as we keep doing that, we got a chance. So as long as the team wins, you'll keep the beard kind of like the, <laughs> the white shirt last year? You know, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Right. Sam, Sam you are talk, talking a little bit about their, their defense, in particular their secondary. They've got two rookie corners so yeah. leading the league in interceptions and forced fumbles. And what do you see out of mm -hmm. those guys, Brian and Wallen, as well as that, that secondary? Yeah, you know, I think Brian and Wool and Jackson, um, you know, digs everyone. I mean, they're they're playing really good football right now. Again, like you said, they're forcing turnovers. Um, you know, I think they're second or third in the league in turnovers. So, um, yeah, I think we just got to, like we do every single week, we got to take care of the football um, and convert on third down. And when we get down in the red zone, we got to we gotta do our thing down there. So, um, yeah, again, like I said, it's, it's a great challenge for us, and um, we're excited about it. Sam, we just found out from Henry Anderson that he had a stroke a while back. Um, what do you recall about when you guys found out what had happened and then as a player to what he, you know, he's anxious to get back out on the field to play, it's clear, but what when you guys heard that, what was kind of the reaction of the locker room? Yeah, I mean well you know, first and foremost we were praying for him. Um, you know, hoping the best for, for him and, you know, for his family. Um, obviously he has a he has a newborn, him and Sarah have a newborn, so um, you know. We were just thinking about them first and foremost, but yeah, I think uh, that's pretty much it. You know, anytime um, one of your brothers gets sick or gets hurt or, or anything, um, you just think about them that way and, and make sure their family's going to be okay. So um, that's really what we were thinking about the most when when we first heard what happened, um, and then once we knew he was okay, it was you know just making sure he was good, you know, lifting his spirits and all that. Sam, uh, now that you've had a while to watch the Denver tape uh, marinate in your guys' performance, I'm curious of three of your completions to DJ, the sideline, one for 26, the touchdown, and the 52-yarder, what was the most impressive play in your opinion? I'll leave that up to you guys. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys judge what, what was impressive and what wasn't. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Fair. And my follow-up will be <laughs> on the 52-yarder, uh, you know, you held you held the release a little bit there. What um, brings that out of the quarterback on a throw like that? Yeah, you know, we watched it on tape. It looked a little basketballish. Right. I don't know why, but um, no, I've done that. I've done that in the past too. Like on some deep balls, I'll kind of uh, hold the fall through. Um, I don't know why or, or what it is, but I've been doing that since I can remember. So, um, yeah. Thanks, man. <coughs> so, with your guys' ability to run the ball, and obviously Deontay Foreman has taken a lot of the lo that load, but you've had contributions throughout the roster from whether it's Hubbard or Blackshear and so forth. What does that speak to, like, from a team standpoint? Obviously, you know, the offensive line has to do their job, but you also have guys in the backfield who can step in, take the take the handoff, and then read what which way to go. So, what what does that speak to the fact that you guys can find a way to run the ball effectively, no matter who's there behind you? Yeah, you know, I think the running backs have been doing a great job in terms of, you know, getting the personnel in and out. I think sometimes, um, you know, in the in the heat of the battle, I guess I could say, um, you know, it, it can be tough trying to figure out who's in the game and what personnel we want. But I think, you know, uh, Deontay, Chuba, and Raheem have been doing a great job of kind of subbing in and out. And all of them have, I feel like, been taking an advantage of every opportunity they get. And, you know, they know that, when they get in there, you know, I know they're they're competing in their room to see who gets the most yards and who gets the most yards after contact. So, um, you know, it's it's fun to be able to see how they push each other, not only in games but in practice as well. So, um, you know, as long as they keep competing like that, um, you know, it's it's going to be fun to see them um, on Sundays. It's to make it easier when you when you have an O line that's been as effective as your guys have been. No yeah. doubt, no doubt. You know, when when you got an O line who who can, you know. Um, you can push piles and um, you know push the D line like they have been. Um, you know it makes it tough on defenses and you know they got to stack the box and then that's when you start throwing it over the top. So um, yeah, man, it's it's been fun to play behind that um, offensive line and can't speak highly enough of, of the job that they've been doing and we just got to keep it going. Can this, can this game sort of set the tone for the stretch run of this season? You know, I think this will be a big test for us. You know, going on the road and. Um, you know, we're trying to win our second game in a row, um, but also on the road in a tough environment in Seattle. Um, yeah, I think it'll be a great test for us, and, and we're excited for the challenge. More for Sam. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks. thanks.